Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord. Let your light now scatter the darkness. And your Oh, gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the evening light, we sing your praise.
O God, maker of heaven and earth, you help us in times of distress and watch over us day and night. Hold us securely in your mercy, that in the midst of fear and danger, we may depend on you, our sure deliverer, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. A reading from Psalm 8. O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants, you founded a bulwark because of your foes to silence the enemy and the avenger. When I look to your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are human beings that you should be mindful of them, mortals that you care for them, that you made them a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor and you have given them dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet, all sheep and oxen and all beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the sea. O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. It's fall, and I have to say I absolutely love fall. It's probably my favorite season just because of the beauty of it all. Driving here to church today and seeing all the cra- the changing leaves, taking a hike in the woods, and I think every fall it just reminds me of the beauty in this world, of the beauty in the things that God has made. There's beauty in this world. The psalmist sings of the work of God's fingertips. The idea that when God created the heavens and earth, God was involved in this all. That in the beauty we see in the birds that sing and in the trees that change leaves, we see God's handiwork. And when we see God's handiwork, we see God's beauty. And we learn something about the character of God. I think one of the reasons that I love to travel so much is to see all the diversity and wonder and splendor of creation. And I am never, every trip I've taken, I have never not, that's a lot of double negatives. I have always, when I've traveled, always found something to be amazed at. Something that has taken my breath away. And I've gone, wow, God. You made this. I experienced it the first time 
or like it's the first time I really recall doing hiking a trail in Estes State Park in Colorado up to Emerald Lake. And remember hiking that long trail and walking up and seeing the mountains and the lake and just being in awe. Which was why I was so happy when we took the youth to Colorado. We took them on that same exact trail so they could have that experience too. But I've experienced it when I saw the Grand Canyon. I've probably ex I've experienced it. Um, my last trip in the Virgin Islands, right before all this craziness hit, I was out snorkeling and seeing coral and fish and all the amazing different types of fish are swimming next to a sea turtle. Have you ever gotten to do that? It's amazing. Or I remember snorkeling in Panama and down below was a little shark. And instead of being scared or frightened, it was just like, wow. And I've experienced that climbing to the top of a sand dune in Mongolia or hiking through the jungle in Peru, looking at ants carrying leaves to horses, wild horses in the steeps of Mongolia and in Greece with all the beauty and majestic and the mountains and the sunsets. And I have never not found something when I have looked at creation or spent the time to go out and spend time in God's creation, I have always found myself in awe of something, something God made, whether it's an insect or a majestic view or just a rock formation or a glacier or an animal or an elephant playing with its little trunk. I, I, I could have watched baby elephants play with their trunks when I was in Africa for days. It's the cutest thing you'd ever see in your life. Except maybe only cuter is the sound of a baby lion trying to roar. That's also super cute. And God made all that stuff. God made the trees and the leaves that change and the majestic Rocky Mountains and those pillars of sand in Mongolia and those little insects and the rainforest in Peru and the lions and the elephants that play with their trunks. God made all of that. That is the work of God's fingertips. And when we go outside and we see those leaves change, we see the signs of fall, we see the changing of the seasons, maybe you too will think, wow, God, you made a beautiful world. Yet the psalmist in talking about the glory of creation then says, my goodness, God, what about us? Like what? You put us above this whole thing. You told us to care for this creation. You made us, you put us a little lower than the you above the animals and the creation with the task of caring for all of those things. And it makes you go, I wonder if God looks at us and goes, wow, what an amazing people I have made. Just like when we go out in creation or are amazed by a mountain or coral or wild animals and go, wow, God, look at what you did. I think God looks at us and goes, look at what I did. You are the work of my hand. You are the work of my fingers. You are as amazing and as beautiful and as diverse and as wonderful as all those beauties and wonder of creation. That awe when we, we see when maybe we go to the Grand Canyon or the Poconos Mountains or we go out and look at the wonderful night sky out in the wilderness and just see that or enjoy a waterfall and we are just overwhelmed by beauty and awe or the expanse of the heavens, the stars, the universe. We think God made us the same way. God made us with the same care and the same love. We, just like all of creation, like the trees with the leaves that change, we are the work of God's fingertips. We are the work of God's hands. We are part of God's majestic world. 
So maybe whenever you're feeling down in the dumps or you're feeling like you're not good enough or society is telling you that you're not beautiful or you don't feel beautiful, go out and be amazed by something in the world and go, I was made with as much care as that tree, that animal, that insect. And I am as beautiful as a sunset, as majestic as a mountain, because like all of those things, and like everyone else in this world, we are part of God's majestic creation. We are the work of God's fingertips. And majestic is the name of our creator who loves us and who made us to be the beautiful creation that we are. Amen.
Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Dear Jesus, as a hen covers her chicks with her wings to keep them safe, protect us this night under your golden wings, for your mercy's sake. Amen. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you all and also with you.